Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge. I am your host Rick Redmond and tonight we are going into week two of the St. Louis Rams preseason. Now as you see we're cutting some players from the roster as per mandatory team actions and I'm just pretty much picking the lowest ranked guys for now. Uh, but going back to the last game, last preseason game we had in our first one, uh, we had some pretty good positives. Uh, we won the game for some of foremost. foremost. Um, the bench did pretty well. We didn't get to see too much of the starters. So hopefully in this game, playing against the Tennessee Titans, we'll get to at least see a little bit of how our starters play because we're going to have to get used to that lineup going into the regular season. And we need to see some more from Nick Foles and see if we can get Todd Gurley going as he will most likely be our starter going into week one. But here we go, second and 10 in the first quarter. As you see Foles drop back, finds Brian Quick down the middle of the field right and gets tackled right at the 50. So nice 25 yard game. Now second and six, Foles dropping back, gets the blitz gets picked up and Trey Mason catches it and keeps breaking tackles and won't go down until he finally does right there. So some nice positive gains right here for the first team offense as we go third and seven fulls. Finding Jared Cook with the aggressive catch, but he dropped it. Oh, you cannot be dropping those Cook. Anyways, now we're going to fourth down and seven. Might as well go for, you know, preseason style. And you see Foles finding Brian Quick once again with a nice diving grab. So we're getting some nice positive contribution from Brian Quick right there. And now once again with fourth down and nine, we're going into the second quarter. Austin Davis is now into the game and he finds Givens. So that would be so we already pretty much finished with Nick Foles tonight. We did get some at least some good games, but here comes the guy that hopefully will be the next big star running back, Todd Gurley, as he pounds his way in for the touchdown. So up 7-0. So Titans with the ball and uh oh look at this. Oh my goodness. Did you see the juke from Destin McCluster as he juke he just shook those two defenders off their boots and gets a 49 yard gain on his first rush. So after the defense was looking strong in the first, now in the second looking a bit shaky, but on third and twelve, the quarterback checks down to McCluster as he gets stopped before the first down. So at least the defense makes up for it and only allows a field goal. Now we, got, now we got the ball under two minutes. Austin Davis, third and nine conversion, finds Lance Kendricks for a nice game. So now we're in Titans territory with almost a minute and a half to play. Davis looking for somebody, finds Todd Gurley who breaks a tackle and gets the first down. So seeing some nice play with Todd Gurley and we're getting, uh, as he's getting extended time in this game, and oh, Kendricks dropped the ball on third down, so of course we go for it on fourth once again, and it makes a very errant pass right there. So now Tynes with the ball with about 40 seconds left to play at the half, and look at Mettenberger, look at him scrambling, and he somehow gets the first before he, before he even gets to the sideline, so the clock still continues to tick. They continue to save that one timeout that they have, and then now he drops back and there's apparently a flag on the play and oh my goodness how did he get that grab uh, I thought we timed it so the flag was actually on us anyway so the, of course the penalty was declined so now Titans looking for something with under 10 seconds to go and he gets tackled but at the 2 yard line not in the end zone and they already used their final timeout so wasted possession for them as they were not able to get any points on that drive so we're still up 7-3 and here comes our our prized rookie running back Todd Gurley so he gets a nice game at 36 yards rushing so far and a touchdown Davis with the play action finds Lance Kendricks once again getting nice yards and he's playing a nice game as well so 50 receiving yards for Lance Kendricks and now second and six down in the red zone, finding Lance Kendricks once again for the touchdown as we complete the drive goal for him. With three catches in that possession and the third one just happened to be a touchdown. So now we're up 11 heading into the fourth. Menberger trying to find somebody as he, the receiver drops it on third down and they would have to settle for another field goal. So now Davis dropping back, finds Tavon Austin 
for at least a good chunk of yard right there and settles it for third and five. So now the next play, Davis once again fighting Tavon Austin, who is just inches shy. So hey, you know the rule in preseason, fourth down. We're going to give it to our fullback Cunningham as he converts the first down as we let the clock keep ticking away, ticking away. And then now first and ten, we go play action. This time Davis looking for Lance Kendricks once again. Look, he's pretty much the go-to guy on this second team unit. He's already got 75 receiving yards. And now second and three with under two minutes to play. Killing some clock. You see Gurley goes up the middle. Getting getting a good amount of yards right there. Second and seven. Gurley going inside and almost gets the touchdown. But looks like he got the first down instead as the consolation prize. And then of course you know how we had to end this drive. We got to end it with Todd Gurley finishing it off for the score. So nice game from Todd Gurley as he ended up ended up with two rushing touchdowns and we come up with the win 21 to 6. So nice game once again. We got to see a little bit of the stars hopefully next week's game. The stars get extended playing time, but at least we got to see quite a bit from our rookie Todd Gurley. And hopefully now we'll see what happens in next week's game. Maybe the stars will get some time. We'll see what happens. Until then, this is Redmond signing out.